What's up creative fellas? This is part two of my highlight session and today I will take it a step further and I will show you how to just finesse those highlights, how to create some really cool lighting effects just like I do in my composites. So for today's tutorial I have chosen this photo because I think it really looks cool. Without wasting another second, let's go. <laughs> I created this image by adding a cloud image as a background then I blurred it a little bit and then I added a I don't know what this is it might be a crest a wall crest I added it in the center of the image then I added myself and did a little bit of color correction and after that I added the skulls one by one into the image they look cool and then I placed some candles here and there all over the image to add a little bit more drama because I'm dramatic. Now, the fun part begins. This is my favorite part of every composite, painting highlights and do the lighting. This is also the most time consuming part, but I like it a lot because that just feels good. If you've seen any of my composites, you know that I like to create an intense light source at the back of my model. Like uh, I wanna do rim lights, so I have to create a backlight for my model. So here's the secret to how I do it. So guys, here we are inside of Photoshop. As you can see, I've got a couple of groups to work with. A background, skulls, models, candles. There's a lonely skull in the front. It had to be in the front, so I separated him. And I also have my color grade group on top of everything. If you want to know how I color grade my photos, please let me know in the comments. The secret tip that I want to show you is that you create a new layer, you hit Shift F5 on your keyboard to bring up this fill dialog and fill it up with black. If you can't just uh, use your keyboard, you can go to edit, fill and make sure to select black from this drop down and hit OK. And after that, I will get a soft round brush and I'll make it as big as I can like as big as this canvas size and I make sure the flow and opacity are set to 100 and I choose a white color and I dab in the middle of the image then I change the blend mode to color dodge as you can see it creates a very bright spotlight so you can decrease the fill until it looks good to you do not touch the opacity on this one only decrease the fill until it's looking like decent. So I set the fill to about 40% then I will create another layer beneath the first layer and then I will dab again with a bigger brush and this time you can decrease the opacity. I decrease this one to about like uh, I don't know 20 30 percent and these two layers together create a very bright light behind your model. This is how I always create the spotlight behind myself in my composites and then I will start painting highlights with the previous method that I taught you in the previous tutorial. Just clip a layer to the model, get your brush, set the flow to about like 10-12% whatever you are feeling comfortable with and choose your color, start painting and don't forget to use the eraser tool with your highlights to make them look like they have been drawn with the pen. Just make sure to use a soft brush with the eraser with a flow of about 20%. Now let me quickly finish painting highlights on this dude.
I also want to paint highlights on these candles too. Let's do that. Now let's go ahead and use this tip that I just taught you to just turn these candles on. Again, create a black layer and put it on color dodge mode. Just get your brush with a flow of opacity of 100, choose the color. I will choose the color that is close to the flame. And then I will dab on these candles to turn them on. It's easy as that. It's just one single dab. So change your brush size according to the size of the candle and just dab on them to just quickly turn them on. I believe that this is the best method out there to just literally turn everything on. So after you're done dabbing on these candles, just play with the fill, decrease it to make it look more natural. And this is looking nice guys, look at that. We turn them on. And after that, you can create another layer, put it to screen and repeat the process again with the screen blend mode. But this time, make sure to bring the opacity down to about like 20%. And I might just change the color a bit to a more like yellowish color. And I will just paint on the candles to add more brightness to them. And that's it guys, that is the number one secret that I wanted to show you in this tutorial. A black layer set to color dodge mode gets the job done for you. It is very different than an empty layer set to color dodge mode. If you know what's the difference, please let me know. But if you don't, you can ask me later on, I will explain to you. But as for now, use this technique to turn everything on and don't leave just yet. I've got another example for you of how you can use it in just uh, some other situations. Let's see that. I've brought you the moon, guys. Oh my god! Wow! I have a shining moon sitting on a floor in this example. And I want to create some light reflections on the floor using the same technique. So, fill a layer with black, set it to color dodge, get your brush. And actually, you might want to decrease the flow in this example a little bit. And another, another thing that you might want to do is to change the brush tip to something that looks like this. Because you want to be painting on the floor and you want to maintain the perspective of the floor. So you have to change it and then start painting those uh, shiny highlights on the floor. And this will look super realistic, guys. You cannot achieve this by any other method, I think. You can create a layer on overlay but that won't still be as good as this one. So I always use this method if you want to create any lighting reflections or if I want to light up anything including, uh, I don't know, lamps, the moon, everything. So this is, I guess, in my opinion, the best method out there. And also, if you want to erase this off of some areas, you can paint with black. Do, do not use the eraser tool on this layer, guys. Just if you want to paint uh, anything off, you can just use the black color. If you paint on this layer with a black color, it will erase it. By the way, if you guys got any suggestions for the upcoming tutorials, if you want me to explain anything special, specific, please let me know in the comments below and I'll take those into consideration. And I hope to see you in my next episode.